In this video, we're going to talk about computer forensics tools. There are many tools of trade in computer forensics. Some of these tools are software-based while others are hardware. Computer forensic software typically exists in the form of a software suite. They provide a comprehensive set of features computer forensics investigators need from the very beginning of their investigation to its completion. These features include abilities to acquire and process a storage device, conduct searches, generate reports, and so on. Depending on the nature of your investigation, you may need a highly specialized software tool. For example, Let's say that a suspect has hidden a secret text inside a picture file and you need to retrieve this secret text from the picture file and this type of feature doesn't necessarily exist in a computer forensic software suite which is why you need a tool called a steganography utility to retrieve this secret message. There are also hardware needs. Computer forensic software is demanding, especially in terms of processing power, memory size, disk space. A consumer-grade computer is not enough or sufficient to handle this type of requirements. This is why you need a high-performance computer, especially configured for a computer forensics investigation. This type of computer is also called computer forensics workstation. In addition to the requirements we just talked about, these computer forensics workstations, they come with extra bays and additional ports to accommodate the special needs of a computer forensics investigation. In addition to the computer forensics workstation, special equipment is also necessary. For example, as an investigator, you need a device called write blocker, which prevents an operating system from writing over an evidence drive during your investigation. There is also a software version of this write blocker hardware equipment, which is called software write blocker. Another piece of equipment often necessary during a computer forensics investigation is a large capacity storage device. It is frequently required to make this bit-by-bit uh, -bit copy of an entire storage device of significant size. And large capacity storage devices are essential to store the copy. This bit-by-bit -bit copy of a storage device is also called an image of the storage device. So to be effective as a computer forensics investigator, you need to have access to all the necessary tools to conduct your investigation. We'll be using many of these software and hardware tools throughout the rest of this course.